Hello students, good day. I'm teacher Alvin and I will be your teacher for today's online class. Today, I'll be teaching science. Let's start first with our vocabulary. Let's start with our first vocabulary. It's the word review. Review review now let's spell the word review r e v i e w review our second vocabulary word is quiz 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 now Let's spell the word quiz. It's Q U I Z quiz. Very good. Now, let's proceed to our third and last vocabulary word. It's the word test. 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 Now, let's spell the word test. It's T E S T. Test. Great job. Now, let's proceed in our documentary that will appear on your assessment. Please watch this video. Beautiful Birds Part 1 1 Macaw 1 M A C A W Macaw Vocabulary Beak Agile Grasp Things The macaw is a member of the parrot family. It has a large, strong curved beak. It has strong, agile toes that are used like hands to grasp things. Two, pigeon. P, I, G, E, O, N. Pigeon Vocabulary Exceptional Ability Identify Image The pigeon has exceptional eyesight and ability to identify objects. It can recognize its own image in the mirror. It eats nuts seeds and fruit.
Now, let's review our past lesson for our assessment. Living things. Again, living things. Can you still remember what is a living thing? Now, let's define what is a living thing. Living things refers to things that are now or once were alive. For you to understand more about living things, I will show you the different kinds of living things. Our first kind of living things are your plants. Next on the list is the animals. We also have people. And even a bacteria is a living thing. Again, we have your plants. Next, we have your animals. Third, we have people and even a bacteria. What do living things need? Again, can we read it one more time? What do living things need? Can you still identify our examples of living things? What are those again? First, we have your people. Or we can say also humans. Next, we have the animals. And last but not the least is the plants. Now that we all know already the examples of living things, and all living things has life, we can now identify what do living things need. So living things need three things. First, they need air, water, and food. Without these three things, humans, animals, and plants were all going to die. Plants is different from animals and humans because plants use air and water and sunlight to make their own food, while animals and humans can move to one place or another to get their food and to drink some water. Humans and animals eat plants. For example, humans consume green leafy vegetables and fruits, while some other animals consume green grasses and leaves just like the horses goats cows and even panda humans also consume animal meats for example beef steak beef is from the meat of a cow while other animals hunt their meat just like the animals in the wild. We have tiger, cheetah, lion, and even an eagle. Next, we have air. Animals and humans both need the same type of air. And that air is oxygen while plants is different what do plants need can you still remember those things that plants need what are those again plants need sunlight water air and soil now let's answer some questions where do plants get 
their water from. Again, where do plants get their water from? Can you still remember where do plants get their water? Did you answer from the rain? If you answered from the rain, you are correct. Very good. Where do plants find their food? Plants make their own food. Unlike other living things, plants cannot move to one place to another. Plants use sunlight, air, and water to make their own food. Plants make their food in their leaves. And this process is what we call photosynthesis. People raise animals like chickens, cows, and pigs on farms. People grow plants like vegetables and fruits in fields and gardens. Where do living things find water? Again, can we read it one more time? Where do living things find water? Let's start first with plants. Where do plants find their water? For us to understand our topic, let's identify first the parts of the plants. And here is the parts of the plants. Let's start first with the roots. Second, we have your stem. Third, we have your leaves. And lastly, we have your flower. Plants find water in the soil. A plant's roots take the water from the soil and move it up the stem to the leaves. Next, where do animals find their water? Animals cannot take water from the soil. But, animals can move to find water. Animals move to places where there is water. Just like puddles, lakes, and rivers. And always remember, water is important to all living things because without water all the living things will going to die because of dehydration thank you for watching hope you learned something new today and please don't forget to wear your mask regularly and wash your hands often stay safe and again this is teacher alvin and see you soon. Bye!